Alright, what's up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. Today, I have an update for you on the Silver Dollar City recreation within Planet Coaster. And I know you guys are always excited for these episodes, so we're going to get straight into it. I think I've done a considerable amount of work in order to show you guys uh, what's new. So, going into here to the entrance, I finally do have some pads that lead up to the entrance and actually connect all the way through to the square so you can finally see the guests are no longer trapped at the entrance except for i guess these guys these are ones that are still going to remain trapped until further notice so but for the most part everyone else is not trapped anymore so uh let's get into it uh going on to the square they haven't really done anything um i'm not even gonna really bother going over here on hill or on hill street uh this is a uh, valley road on valley road because again we have not really touched up on this uh as much either the only thing over here that we have maybe touched up on is fireman's landing just a little bit um, we haven't really done much. Um, I need to start doing some more, though. Um, of course, I have my static models for uh, some of the rides, like Lucky's Dizzy Dogs um, is kind of small. I might end up making it a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure just yet. It's going to be one of those static rides because we don't have it in Planet Coaster. And, of course, I've started to kind of start redoing the, um, uh, the little uh, facade building with the... Uh, uh, with Firefall and everything. I made mine just a little, maybe a little bit bigger than what it actually is in real life. Maybe, it, it's probably not too much bigger. But I wanted it to look very nice with um, Firefall and everything. I do have to thank Darren for um, allowing me to kind of go off of his uh, recreation of Fireman's Landing. Um, he's doing a really good job. He's been posting updates in the Discord of it, and I think he's almost completely done with his uh, recreation of Fireman's, which is really cool. He's doing some unique things. He wants to make some of the rides actually functional. Me, I'm probably going to go a different route because I kind of want mine to look exactly as close as possible as I can, so I'll probably do, be doing more static models than him. Um, but he does, he's been doing some cool things like uh, getting really creative with it with, um, uh, like he's using the loop-de-loop -loop for, um, for Fire Wagon Frenzy. I like how he still put the, uh, this wagon on kind of like a little, um, uh, arm as well, which is kind of cool. But you can see how much smaller his model is compared to mine, which it looks fantastic. And I've been kind of maybe, or I've been kind of kind of comparing his a little bit, so I'm still ch kind of using his... Um, to kind of help me out just a little bit as well and um, I can't wait to see what um, his final product is as well uh, that he's got a lot more done he's been working on a lot more of the section um, lately so anyways I, I appreciate him sharing that with me I was thinking about actually using his recreation to put into the place here but um, it would be really hard to kind of plop it down and get it to fit properly the way I've uh, made it because my my stuff is a lot more bigger or a lot bigger than um, everything and it would be kind of hard to implement it into there um, basically with this recreation I've kind of implemented how Planet Coaster makes everything bigger um, and that's kind of uh, how I am with uh, this recreation everything's probably going to be bigger than it is in real life just a little bit so heading down this way this is where we're going to see a lot of progress since the last episode um, and that is over here by um, past Mystic River Falls. You're going to have, um, uh, of course, we've been uh, just started to work on just a very little bit of uh, River Blast over here. I uh, finally started to get it to where I'm kind of happy with the layout. And um, we're going to start doing a lot of the theming elements over there. And it's looking quite nice. But if we go over here by Crossroads and all this, we have the little water canals that connect um, throughout this area of the park. And I did do a lot of work over here on this little plaza area um, with the steps and getting the railings in there, getting some of the planters and everything like that. And pretty soon we're going to be getting, um, uh, getting Crossroads Pizza complete, uh, hopefully. So I've been trying to work my way around this way. So if we start going this way, you're going to see a lot of stuff starting to get detailed and that's including like the Wild West Racers. I just kept it closed for right now. I didn't want to do the interior for that because it wouldn't be functional. I might eventually do interior for that. 
but as of right now, it's going to remain closed. Um, and if we go over here to Wilson's Farm Giant Barn Swing, we go across the little bridge here, um, and this is where you're going to get good views. I'm actually thinking about taking down this fence very soon because Mystic River Falls has taken down, or with Mystic River Falls being open now, uh, for the most part, it's kind of still in its soft opening phase, but, um, um, they finally actually took down all this fencing, so you can actually see the ride now. And now I got a better idea for Mystic's, um, layout a little bit better, so I'm going to be switch changing this up quite a bit, and you'll be seeing that very soon. So you can see I got this Wilson Farms, uh, giant barn swing, um, uh, sign and everything going across like it is in real life. Uh, which is looking pretty good. And if we go over here to the swing area, I've tried to complete a lot of this area as well by doing the custom paths or like the uh, all the pathways and stuff have been uh, covered now. Uh, we worked on the high low silos, which is pretty much done as well. Um, they're just nice little static models. Um, if you've seen that ride before, they have one at have them at Dollywood as well. And going back to Outlaw Run, Outlaw Run is pretty much completed. A few minor tweaks here and there, like I need to um, get these speakers in a proper position and stuff like that. Like, those are the only minor tweaks I still need to uh, work on. But as you can see, with this planter's done, we worked on this back area, and um, pretty much the building is complete. We added doors on the transfer uh, tracks right there, and we got all this closed up. I might have to put another support or two right there. Um, but as you can see, everything is pretty much completed for the most part. The um, building is kind of come together. I still need to put these steps that go down to there. I added a few more wanted signs and everything overall is just nice and completed. We have a perimeter fence that goes all the way around the entire ride, which took me ages. We got the catwalk going down the drop. It's all there, it's all done and it's looking great. I did replace this with natural pathing, um, which I think looks a little bit better. Um, we did finish up all the custom supports since the last episode as well with the um, footers and everything like that. As you can see, it looks great, and I think um, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, of course, we got the barnyard and everything like that. I haven't really put much um, uh, detail into this just yet. I might put more in later on, but it wasn't my main focus. I just wanted to get it in there uh, for the most part. So everything is coming together quite nicely, and I finally figured out more again of how Mystic River looks and everything like that. So hopefully um, very soon we might actually start on Mystic. I need to get some reference photos, videos, and stuff like that because they are starting to get out there now, and we can potentially finally um, work on Mystic River Falls here very, very soon because this area is pretty much almost completed now, um, which is nice. I still don't know how um, functional I'm going to be able to make it with that lift tower. Um, we're going to do whatever we can to try and figure something out uh, to try and make it as functional as possible. I've got a couple ideas that may or may not work. We're just going to have to try them. So um, with that, um, hopefully we can get Mystic River Falls to start um, developing as well and we can start getting the riverfront area going because as you can tell this is the most undeveloped section that we have so far uh, within the park so um, hopefully maybe with mystic finally opening um, we can actually get some uh, good references over here and start to develop this area because I'm trying to push my way out of here and start to get a lot of stuff you know developing and looking nice and um, complete because I'm trying to detail a lot of this stuff over here. So going back over this way, we haven't done too much over by the saloon just yet. Um, and all this area is still kind of um, still kind of raw a little bit uh, until we get back over here to fire in the hole, which you may have or may not have noticed is finally completely enclosed. Um, so that is a plus and we did do its extended queue line and everything like that. It look it's looking pretty got or pretty good over here, and I'm still still not completely done with it. We're gonna have to hide these speakers still. Still haven't done that, but um, we're gonna get um, the outside, the exterior more detailed as we go along. As you can tell, we've been working more and more on getting some of the exterior done. Um, there's another building we need to place down over here, 
and fire in the hole will be great i do try i am trying to plan on potentially getting this on the workshop for you guys if you guys want to check out fire in the hole or put, put it in some of your own parks it's not too big it's 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 pretty decently sized but it's not too big and uh, you could potentially use it in your parks if you would like to so that's kind of a cool thing for fire in the hole um, but as we go into here, um, next thing, I'm also need to work a little bit in the station area right here. I've been working just a tiny bit in here, but not too much. But the station is starting to come together, look really, really nice. But if we go in here, obviously it doesn't look as good in the daytime. Um, so you have to keep it nice and dark in the inside because they do I have utilized the time machine. But there's a couple spots where I do want to still kind of get um, a little bit more detailed. But for the most part, everything's enclosed and coming together. Uh, again, it's not completely done. There's still some stuff I want to implement on the inside, theming-wise, and make a little bit more better and closer to what we want or need. But as you can see, we got the building here, and I might be re replacing some of the roofs uh, the ceiling with something that matches it just a little bit better but going through here you can see that everything's nice and enclosed and for the most part completed um, for a lot of the sections and this is all pitch black area so as long as it's not going to be viewed I don't see any reason to really put many de more details into it and you have the splashdown effect that goes right here and then we turn back into the station nice so, um, yeah, it's not perfect yet. Um, we, uh, again, still some tweaks here and there, but that will most likely be the next ride that will be fully completed um, um, in the park. So that's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. Um, and there's still a lot of stuff. There's still a lot of stuff. But going over here to Powder Keg, I don't believe we've really worked on Powder Keg all that much. It's mostly been Outlaw Run going out to this area. You can see, just kind of zoomed out here, the more completed sections, like the more detailed sections that I've been working on for the most part. This is the area that I've been really trying to focus on where you can kind of see where the camera's at. Um, that's basically the main areas that we've been working on. And um, you'll might notice in the streams that I might actually start a lot on Mystic River Falls and I have had the opportunity to write it as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and I won't go into detail on that, but it's pretty, it's a pretty awesome replacement for lost river i'll give it that and um yeah so going back over here um i don't know if i had all this done at wildfire but we did do a little bit of wildfire um i think i already had the station parts done but i kind of got an outline i'm trying to make for wildfire just a little bit um over there um, a little peek at American Plunge. Don't think I've really worked on it lately. I have worked a little bit on Cowboy Jeps and just a little bit on this. I think it's a jewelry store. I can't remember exactly which store it is. It's kind of weird because the, the the roof goes all the way down to the, like the bottom. You can literally like climb up onto that roof. It's really weird with the terrain. Um, but there's a whole back area back here that I need to work on with some pads that also leads down to American Plunge and it also is... Uh, has the leather shop, the knife shop, and stuff like that, which is uh, some very key um, buildings and shops for Silver Dollar City. So we don't want to forget about those, um, which is amazing. So basically, that is going to about do it for this update, I think, for Silver Dollar City. And um, there's still a lot more to come, and I hope to get a lot more done in the very near future. So make sure you guys are watching this live on Twitch. I'm always streaming it um sometimes i do do stuff off, um, off screen but for the most part i stream most of it so make sure you're following me on twitch links in the description below if you want to go follow me on twitch to watch these and also make sure you turn notifications on so you can know when i go live and everything so you guys can catch some of those live streams and watch me play uh, Planet Coaster Live and any other games. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me on this awesome episode of Silver Dollar City's Recreation. Can't wait to get more and more done and um, sorry about the lack of videos lately. I've been really, really busy. I've been working six days a week. This is my one day off that I get to record. So um, pretty exciting, but 
Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. I'm going to catch you guys in the very next live stream or video. Thanks, and goodbye.